For the longest time, the web has been a very boring place. You had very little choice except to use fonts that were installed on most computers. So you'd frequently get sites that were designed in Verdana, Arial, any sort of sans serif font. Generally easy to read, not particularly fancy or interesting, but highly functional. Now we've come to a time in the web where things are changing. And you can see where we're going with this, I've been practicing. Um, Google Fonts is one source of free web fonts. I'm just going to show you how I got here. I searched web fonts and I selected Google Fonts. I like Google Fonts because they're incredibly simple to use. They are web hosted which is a little different than the way that you do it in your book so I'm trying to show you something slightly different and they have all sorts of really really cool fonts out here. So I'm going to pick something fun and really different from just standard. So I'm going to select this. I'm going to choose Add to Collection. I now have a couple and then I'm going to go to Quick Use. And I like that one. It shows you about how much impact on page load. You don't want to do too many because it will slow down your page and you can really get carried away. So it tells you to add this code to your website. So I'm just going to copy and paste. Every good programmer knows how to copy and paste. And I'll drop it right in here to my head section. I'll go back out to my browser. And I will add this just to the body tag. Now this is all online, so if anything updates, it'll update automatically. There's advantages and disadvantages the book, book goes through between hosting your own and having them online. I'm pretty confident with having things online in Google. It's free. I don't need to worry about royalties. Now I'm going to put in style. Oops. I've already got in that, that in there. Style type text CSS. Okay. So I've already got that put in there. I thought I had. All right. So I'm going to put in my body tag. I like I like to sort of tag tab in these. So I'm going to put in body. I like to line up my curly brackets. I do things a little bit differently than Dreamweaver would by default. This is from a long time as a regular programmer. And then I'm going to put in my font family line right here inside the body tag. If I check over here, it's not going to do anything. Don't let that throw you. Because these are hosted on the web, you actually have to test it on the web. If you're connected to the internet and you pre preview in one of the browsers, you should see that it comes right in. Now for your assignment, I'm going to have you just do a sample page with a few different fonts. Do something fun like an advertisement for a band or something that's going to play, add an image, add some background colors, and use two to three different fonts. You get more than that and it gets to where it weighs the page down and it also gets to the point where it's just confusing. So I would have at least three different fonts on the page and I would like to have two of them imported. I typically don't import my regular paragraph fonts. I usually use a sans serif that's easy to read. But for headings and special effects, things like this can be a lot of fun. But you wouldn't want regular text written this way because it is kind of hard to read. So you can see this is it side by side with comparison where we have the default, much easier to read. And you can see it's your sample H1, sample H2, sample H3, sample H4. Paragraph, small, emphasis, and strong. And this is so hard to read that I'm actually having to look over here and see what I really said. So I don't think this is a particularly good font, um, but you can use some of the custom fonts to enhance what your page looks like.